These eerie objects are called quasars. They're some of the brightest and most powerful objects in the universe. They lurk in the depths of space, consuming entire galaxies with their insatiable hunger. But what are quasars? Where do they come from? And most importantly, are they dangerous to us? Picture a supermassive black hole, a cosmic monster so massive that it can swallow entire stars and bend the fabric of time. Usually, there's such a black hole in the center of every galaxy. That includes our own Milky Way galaxy. Ours is named Sagittarius A star. Sounds like the name of a hipster coffee shop, but in reality, it's a terrifying celestial body, which is 4 million times heavier than our sun. You could even see it online. For the first time, we took a photo of this black hole in May 2022. Ah, but don't worry. Even though it's super massive, it's not going to swallow us up anytime soon. This black hole is relatively small and is too tiny to eat an entire galaxy. So it's more like a cosmic vacuum cleaner that sucks up stars or gas that gets too close. But there are black holes in the centers of galaxies that are way heavier and more dangerous than ours. They can weigh millions or even billions of times more than our own sun. Now imagine one of these monsters. Usually they're surrounded by a swirling, glowing disk of gas and dust, like water swirling down a drain. It's called an accretion disk, and it's where the magic of quasars happens. As material from the accretion disk falls toward the center, it heats up to millions of degrees, releasing vast amounts of energy in the form of radiation. And this radiation is what we observe as a quasar. So basically, the more material a black hole can consume from its surroundings, the brighter its quasar will be. This is what makes them so bright and powerful, shining like beacons in the night sky. And just imagine, some black holes can actually make entire galaxies their meal. Now, combine their ravenous appetite with some intense radiation, and you'll get a truly awe-inspiring display of cosmic power. No wonder we can see them, even though they're some of the most distant objects in the universe. Quasars were discovered in the late 1950s by accident. Astronomers were just chilling and looking at the sky when suddenly they stumbled upon something strange. Radio signals that had no visible source. By 1960, hundreds of these strange objects had been found. Astronomers named them quasars, short for quasi-stellar radio source. These objects were small and far away, but their energy output was immense and difficult to explain. Some thought that these were new types of stars. Others even proposed wild things, like quasars being made of antimatter or being the end of a wormhole. But all these theories were discarded. A scientist named Martin Schmidt was the first one to get to the truth. However, many astronomers didn't believe him. Schmidt had to do a lot of extra work and gather lots of evidence to prove his theory. And finally, he prevailed. And that's how we discovered quasars. Don't you love the scientific method? And since then, astronomers have been captivated by these objects. Why? Because they have some pretty eerie qualities. Hey, you could call them quasi-quasars. For example, they kind of defy the laws of physics. They emit jets of particles that travel at speeds close to the speed of light. These particles move so fast that they can even distort the very fabric of space and time. But sometimes, they also help us confirm the laws of physics. Now imagine driving a car. As you drive, objects in the rear window start to appear smaller and smaller until they disappear from view entirely. That's exactly what happens with quasars, except they're moving away from us at incredibly fast speeds up to 90% the speed of light. Mm, wonder why they're trying so hard to sprint away from us. But in any case, this helps us confirm that the universe does expand for real. Another eerie thing about quasars is that they're incredibly old. Some even date back to the time when galaxies were forming or to the birth of our universe. Additionally, quasars are some of the most distant objects that we can observe in the universe. Some of them are located billions of light years away from us. This means that when we observe a quasar, we're actually seeing light that was emitted billions of years ago, when the Earth was much younger and different than it is today. And that's why they work like cosmic time capsules. Studying them gives us a glimpse into the distant past. You see, galaxies are like giant cities, with stars and planets serving as the inhabitants. But just like cities evolve over time, 
galaxies also undergo changes as they age. And that's where quasars come in. They're like the urban planners of the universe. They shape the galaxies through their powerful gravitational influence. By eating galaxies and releasing intense radiation, they can trigger star formation and shape the structure of the galaxy itself. It's like the cosmic equivalent of a master chef, or a leaf blower, you pick. For example, let's take galaxy mergers. Here are two massive entities coming together, swirling and spinning around each other. As they get closer and closer, their gravitational pull becomes stronger, and they start to merge into a new, bigger galaxy. It's a beautiful and dramatic process, one that can take millions of years to complete. But all this doesn't go without consequences. The gas and dust within the galaxies collide, creating massive shockwaves that trigger the birth of new stars and even supermassive black holes. And this is where the quasars come into play. Some quasars may be born during these galactic get-togethers. And thanks to this, they help us study the effects of this process and the evolution of galaxies over time. But it's not all serious science and no fun. For example, how about gravitational lensing? Now, that's something straight out of a sci-fi movie. It happens when the gravity of a massive object, like a quasar, bends the path of light from a more distant object, like a galaxy, behind it. It's like having a really big magnifying glass in space. When you combine a quasar with gravitational lensing, you get some seriously awesome cosmic eye candy. The result is kind of like a funhouse mirror, where objects appear warped and twisted in strange and mesmerizing ways. Gravitational lensing isn't just for show. It's also a powerful tool for astronomers to study the distribution of dark matter and the structure of the universe. And that's not all. Some scientists have proposed that quasars could help us build the map of the universe. They can work like giant neon road signs. Turn left at the quasar and you'll reach your destination. They're like lighthouses that help us navigate through space. By analyzing the light from different quasars, Astronomers can determine the distances between them and create a 3D map of the universe. And the best part? Quasars are located throughout the entire universe. That's why this cosmic map can give us a comprehensive view of the universe on a scale that was previously unimaginable. Who knew that a giant galaxy eater could be so useful? There's still a lot we don't know about these mysterious objects. In 2007, a team of astronomers made an astonishing discovery the first true binary quasar. Basically, this means two huge quasars spiraling around each other. What's more, they were hiding in plain sight. For years, scientists had known about this radio source, but had never realized that it actually comes from one lovely couple. The astronomers also estimated that this pair may have a mass of about 100 billion suns. They're super distant, though, at an astounding 12 billion light-years away from our blue planet. Overall, quasars are a fascinating and complex phenomenon that continues to baffle and intrigue scientists. They may be cosmic galaxy eaters, but they're also playing a critical role in the formation and evolution of the universe. And who knows, maybe one day they'll become one of the keys to unlocking the mysteries of our universe. Oh, you quasi quasars. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.